What's going on everybody? We are back in the vehicle for another in the vehicle impromptu video and this one uh, is pretty cool. Well, it's cold. Actually, it's freezing. Now that I think of it, it's below even that. So I've talked about it plenty of times in other videos uh, and specific videos even about it. But again, people, if you live in an area that snows and gets cold and whatever, um, you need to have a wool blanket. This is a real wool blanket. Uh, it's heavy. It's dense feeling. Uh, it's fire retardant. Uh, even if it gets wet, it still keeps you warm. But a real true wool blanket. The higher the percentage of wool, the better. This one, I believe, specifically is 80% wool. 100% wool, 90, 95% wool would be better, of course. Um, but 80% wool and then it's got some other synthetics and stuff mixed in between it But you can literally buy these off Amazon or anywhere military surplus stores, whatever I'm sure venture surplus or commando store or whoever has them uh, If you like supporting those guys, which you should because they're pretty cool But I uh, no affiliation by the way. They have no idea I exist, but um Yeah, a wool a real wool blanket Real deal, wool blanket, okay? Because if your vehicle breaks down, uh, if your heat decides to stop working for whatever reason, you got a bug out or you got to, you know, get home or whatever it may be, you have to make a shelter, I would advise staying in the vehicle. And then, boom, here is your sleeping apparatus eye that's going to keep you and others warm. Obviously, the bigger the blanket, the better. Uh, this is a pretty decent-sized blanket and uh, could accommodate, you know, a couple people cuddled up together for warmth. Um, you could also use it as an impromptu shelter, string it up, tie it up, whatever you need to do uh, with this. It's a simple thing. It's just a blanket, but it's made out of the right materials to help you survive in situations that this may need to be called upon. So, again, have it, people. Buy it. Buy a good one. Buy real wool, not synthetic. Real wool stuff. It'll be itchy and scratchy. Suck it up. Um, but real wool. And keep it in the truck. Keep it in the car. Keep it wherever. Uh, but it needs to be there when you need it. So this is the write-off concept, like nothing fancy used to say. Uh, you know, you buy it, you stash it, and you act like you don't own it. If you want another wool blanket, go buy another wool blanket. Don't pull this one out of the car because you need it for a campfire or whatever. Uh, leave it in the vehicle because if you don't, it's not there when you need it. So don't let them put the wool over your eyes, people. I.e. the government and the powers that shouldn't be and... You know, oh, just depend on us. You have to be self-sustaining. This is part of that. Emergencies happen all the time. You are at 100% of your own emergencies, and you are your own first responder. So something simple. You could literally buy it on Amazon right now and next door it to your house because where I'm at, it's literally below zero. If the truck breaks down, which it won't because it's a Chevy, uh, but for whatever reason, um, I have it. Simple. Boom. No big deal. Plus, plus... Another nice thing of keeping a blanket in the vehicle is, well, there's a bunch of nice things about it, but uh, real convenient. But uh, if you've got a bunch of kit, okay, I always have my EDC bag with me. This is the Mystery Ranch Catalyst. Um, excellent, excellent bag, but if you're going to the range, you got guns, you got range bags, you got whatever it is uh, in the back seat or in the truck bed or whatever, you can cover that with your blanket and then prying eyes don't know exactly what's under that blanket it could just be a blanket you know so multitude of purposes a plethora of reasons a myriad of problems it can solve for you something simple something affordable get to it people and don't ever forget